cultural competency does not just mean being tolerant of others from other cultures, but being comfortable working and operating in different environments and with different people. Being culturally competent is an absolute necessity for professionals. More often than not, we hire into jobs and are on teams that are made up of people from all over the world. Prior to my aerospace career, I worked at two different jobs in the automotive uh, industry, designing pneumatic valves for trucks and turbochargers for passenger cars. I worked and collaborated with suppliers from Mexico, Germany, Japan, Italy, China, and India. I have international patents that I worked on with colleagues in Germany. Um, I would not have been as effective at my jobs in working with these people if I hadn't had the classroom language and cultural learning and the perspective of living and working in a foreign country and foreign language. Working my internship abroad, I finally felt like my competency in operating in the German culture was solidifying. Uh, more than just the internship, though, was studying abroad without a big group of peers um, that I was already comfortable with. Traveling alone taught me to depend on myself and that I absolutely had to push myself out of my comfort zone in order to survive. Um, studying abroad for one semester is easy enough to still feel like a tourist or a visitor, uh, but committing yourself to go abroad for a whole year or longer is something altogether. When you spend a year abroad, you cannot just be a tourist. You need to learn how to fit in and thrive, not just to survive. You need to learn how to ask for medical care, how to get a haircut, how to extend your visa, open a bank account, how to move apartments when you don't have a car or when you don't have a friend that has a car. Ah, I used a taxi. That was way out of my comfort zone, but that's not something that's out of the ordinary for living in Germany. Being culturally competent is learning how to adapt, keep your wits about you and still get your job done. cultural competency is really important in the workforce. Um, it allows you to gain multiple, multiple perspectives and see the world a little differently than your colleagues who maybe don't have those kinds of experiences. And I think if you are going to work in a certain country or going to be interacting with people from a certain country, it's really important to know the culture and to know their practices and what they consider as right and wrong compared to what you consider as right and wrong. And I think, you know, just knowing the culture of a place makes it a lot more fun when you're there. And if you know the language, it's a lot, e it's really easy to know the culture and to learn that kind of stuff. And my, the most exciting part of me traveling is learning about the culture, so. One of the most important stories of learning cultural competency and developing a current understanding of everything that is Spain comes from one evening of watching TV with my Spanish host mother. On one of the commercials, there happened to be several bare-chested women. I had a very startled reaction because we just don't have commercials of half-naked women normally. Uh, my host mother had a very insightful explanation to my reaction. Uh, she said she had remembered having a similar reaction when she went to a museum in London. She saw paintings of nude women for the first time. This was her first time seeing women portrayed this way because at the time she was currently living in Spain during the Franco regime and all the art and all the TV uh, censored all these types of images. That story was very eye-opening because I always thought that Spain had been very progressive and very liberal. Listening to how Spain, uh, Spain's repressed culture changed from living under a dictator that sided with Hitler for 40 years to where it is today was very informative to learn. So in my case, where I want to work, which is in the veterinary field, understanding a client's background is important to be able to provide the care that they are expecting for their pet. So for example, when I was working at the veterinary hospital in Spain, I encountered some clients who really did not understand why their pets did not qualify for the universal health care system that is in place in Spain for people. Um, so with that, the veterinarians explained to me that this is very common actually, and they just had to understand that, you know, when they go to the hospital or when their family members, you know, go to the doctors or everything, 
they are helped extremely financially but when they come to the veterinarian and you know they get those higher cost services they do not understand why so it is important to understand their their backgrounds to be able to educate them and move forward with them um, similarly if someone one of these clients were to visit me here in Iowa I would be able to understand that okay this is how the healthcare system is in Spain let me explain to them that first and foremost we don't even have that healthcare system in place for us and it's not going to qualify either way for your pet so just being able to understand where they come from is important and similar to that different countries also educate pet owners on different things um i know i can speak for mexico because i have family members down there and i know it was similar in spain that the spay and neuter pro procedure is not really recommended as much as it is here in the united states i feel like here in the united states when you get a new puppy like oh included in the puppy packet is a spay and a neuter well in other countries i know that that is not true so if I were to have someone, for example, from Mexico come here to Iowa and they have their older pet and she is experiencing, let's say, a pyometra, which is a consequence of not spaying your pet, and they might get upset. They might be like, oh, well, the veterinarian over in Mexico never told me that I needed to do this procedure. Like, we had to understand where they're coming from, understand that, yes, they're going to be frustrated because we do have different ways of educating different cultures that believe in different things you know you see a dog that's not neutered and here in the united states it's for me personally at least it's very weird to see a dog that's not neutered but if you were to go to mexico it's like oh it's normal we don't want to take his manhood let's say so it is very different again on just understanding where they're coming from what they learn and being able to educate them and move forward with them again being able to not make them feel incompetent, making them feel more comfortable and personable, friendly, being able to connect with them is very important just to be successful, I would say. Um, but yeah, and then this definitely being culturally competent is important in any field, not just the veterinary field, but also let's say human sciences field, engineering, uh, business-wise, anywhere, it is important to be culturally competent. I'll start by saying that I don't speak any Spanish, but I wanted to to talk about this prompt because I thought it was it was pretty important, and and I believe cultural competency is is really important not just for your personal life but also for um, the business environment. If you're say working in a company that's that's global, um, that many people that will be graduating from Iowa State will be doing. Um, regardless of whether you learn Spanish or German or French and you're working for a company that maybe does business in one or some or, or any foreign country, um, having some cultural competency or just awareness of cultural differences I think is really important. It, it's really helpful for just communicating with, with, say, other colleagues or customers or suppliers in foreign countries, and it just helps me personally be a little bit more patient when I know if I'm working with someone that that they're speaking English and English isn't their isn't their native language um, just reminds me to be a little bit more patient and, and make sure that that we're clear on what what we're discussing um, because it's very easy sometimes to to think that you you're on the same page but what what they're understanding and what you're understanding could could be very different. So it's it's good to just be aware of that, take things slow, and and also um, just on some other cultural differences in terms of like when I work with um, a lot of Germans, you know, they tend to be very direct. And so uh, to some people, if they're not used to that, they they can be a little caught off guard and um, surprised by that, or, or it comes off sometimes can come off to some people as rude. And so. If you're aware of that, that uh, can set yourself up to have successful meetings and and be productive in the in the workplace. Primarily in defining cultural competency as the ability to interact and communicate and understand people across different cultures, I think that this is an important skill um, for any individual to develop over time, as it's not something that can really be directly taught. 
or conveyed just in a single course or a single time period, um, and looking towards my own past, thinking about high school or maybe even elementary school, I know I recognize that cultural comp competency was never something that has been um, entirely pushed forward or that's something that I have directly learned, but rather it's been gathered over time and across different experiences. And I think cultural competency is so important because it allows us to approach other people with the most respect um, that they deserve and to better understand why people believe what they do and to understand um, different cultural practices and how important they can be to people and people's individual identities. And therefore, I think that cultural competency, competency is something that really should be ex expanded on and invoked more. Um, just in general. And then in looking past cultural competency and better understanding um, the Spanish-speaking world, I also think that is something that is highly important. Once again, in considering my own past, I do realize how a majority of my education really has solely been founded on um, focusing solely on the United States, which in itself also does hold some, some importance um, however, I think that in understanding more about um, the Spanish-speaking world and specifically other countries, that can also be really beneficial to understanding people and understanding um, the United States itself and how our government has influenced and interacted with other countries around the world, which can be very important um, historically, allowing for that historical context and also in looking f towards the future um, in the ways that governments interact and how that interacts us as citizens. And so overall, I think that cultural competency and both understanding more about the Spanish-speaking world are two very important factors that um, should be um, pushed for a little bit more in education um, because they are so very influential on um, our current selves and being able to communicate better with other people and also on the, our country over, overall um, and how it interacts with um, other countries in terms of the economy, um, geography, and politics. Thank you. Hello everyone. In my opinion, it's not only important to be able to speak another language and to be able to write and read in another language, but it's incredibly important to understand the cultural differences between my country and where I live and other Spanish speaking countries as well. There is a lot going on in the world in different areas that really sets where I live in the US apart from Spain or apart from Mexico or apart from other Latin American countries as well. And being able to understand the differences between my culture and another person's culture really helps to break down barriers between individuals. It's one thing to be able to speak another language, but it's a whole other aspect um, of the LCP program to understand the culture um, behind the language that you're speaking. And being able to have cultural competency um, really allows me as an individual to relate to other people, to understand what makes them different, what makes their heritage and what makes their culture unique and special. Um, and it allows me to appreciate our differences even more. So being able to recognize that my culture is different from someone else's but understanding that our differences are what make us unique, are what make us special, um, and they're to be appreciated and admired is really important part of the language program. And it's something that I feel is really strengthened within me from the LCP program. LCP program allows me to take different classes um, that I would have never taken outside of this program related to different cultures of Latin America, related to cultures of Spain and just other Spanish speaking countries. And I think overall, it's just a really important aspect of this program. Being in business and especially being in the field of marketing, cultural competency is probably one of the most important things that you can understand and have whenever you're working with a company that's global or even just a company that has you work with people who are from different countries, different backgrounds, ethnicities as you. It's important to understand that different countries, especially Spanish speaking countries in South America, Europe, Latin America, they don't conduct business the way that Americans do. 
do. And so with that in marketing, when you're trying to maintain and work on building those relationships with clients and other companies that you might be partnering with from other countries or other geographies, it's important to understand that they might not react the same way that you do to emails, meetings. They might not want to get straight down to business with you. They might want to have a cup of coffee with you first before you guys get down to business. So it's one of those things where if you want to create good and you know strong relationships with people and companies in other countries, you need to understand that not everything is done the way that we're used to. And having that competency and being able to see that is what makes you a great global learner and worker because it shows that you're able to work with people different than yourself. And for me, you know, coming from LCP and having two internships abroad, I really started to understand that in college. And I think that's what's made me really competitive and a really good asset to the company I'm with right now. I think that cultural competency specifically is something that is very overlooked here in the United States for the most part. A lot of people don't really ever get out of their cultural bubble, which is why I feel like a lot of people are shell-shocked when they meet people who are from a vastly different culture than their own. I think that it's something that's extremely imperative to, to be exposed to sooner rather than later because not only is it going to help those types of people who are really taken aback when they've encounter a culture that's vastly different from their own. But it also gives you the opportunity to interact with these people and befriend these people and really get an appreciation for something that's, that is different, but it's also unique and it's special and it's just as valid as any other type of culture that exists in the world. And yeah, I feel like that's something that is kind of lacking in the United States specifically at this, at, at this point in time. Um, and I feel like going off of that, having an understanding of the geography, the politics, and the economies of the Spanish-speaking world is something that is imperative to know if you want to work as a, as a professional in, a Spanish -speaking, in the Spanish-speaking world. I mean, just like, like me, for example, like I would like to publish my research in Spanish. That's why I'm pursuing the second major in Spanish. And without understanding how the politics, how the economies, I mean, geographically where people are, you can't really relate to those people and, and share your ideas with them if you don't understand how their society functions and what things they value and I think that I think that it is very very important to have um, cultural competency and an understanding of of those characteristics of a society during my study abroad with LCP I learned so much more about Spain the country in which I studied I learned how the geography, politics, and economics shape the culture of the country as a whole as well as within the individual regions. To better my Spanish skills further, I also have pen pals from different Spanish-speaking countries. I learn so much from them as well. I learn about their vernacular or the dialect in each country, their country's cultures, as well as current events there. I believe that it's important to keep an open mind and always be ready and willing to learn and connect with others because learning a language is so much more than just learning the words. A language speaks to the culture as well. I'm very glad to have cultural competency to make friends with people all around the Spanish-speaking world and have genuine connections where we can share our culture with each other and learn from it.